In today's review, Batgirl gets a sweet ride as we have a look at the Jada Toys DC Comics Bombshells Batgirl and the 1957 Chevy Corvette. A big thank you to the folks over at Jada Toys for making this review possible. This is of the die-cast metals line that features a DC Comics bombshell with their corresponding ride. Before we have a look, a close-up look at the car and the included Batgirl, let's first figure out how long Batgirl's ride is. Her sweet, sweet ride. So from bumper to bumper, I'm going to stop the Ultra Megatron right there. From bumper to bumper, you'd be looking at a car that's 7.6 inches in length or in centimeters. That would translate to a car that's 19.4 centimeters long. You know, I'm a big fan of the DC Bombshells line, so hearing that Jada Toys was releasing not only little miniature bombshells, but also the rides that go along with them, super excited. Before we have a look at the Chevy, let's have a look at the little miniature Batgirl, which unfortunately she doesn't fit inside the vehicle. There's nothing really bendable to her. In fact, she's made of die-cast metal. Jada Toys are known for these little small miniatures, often selling these in stores, little smaller miniatures of different movie and TV properties. I think this one is a little bit longer, a little bit taller than some of those packaged ones. I feel like those ones are a little bit smaller. Uh, a very nicely painted piece for really when you consider its size. You can see that she's got her glove up by her racing goggles. Jet black. Uh, cowl and she's got a red ponytail sticking out from the back there is her her knapsack with her or backpack it's funny how i said knapsack in a video and somebody says there's no such thing knapsacks and backpacks are basically the exact same thing you can see that there's the cape coming out from her backpack we'll just call it backpack she's got some nice metallic gold there happening in her boots as well as her cape an exquisite looking piece uh, it's sort of again something that's just going to stand aside of the vehicle you can't take her off the display base or anything like that, but a very nice little miniature of Batgirl. Now, the Jada Toys lineup of the bombshells is, I think there's six vehicles, and each, of course, will come with its corresponding miniature. There's a Catwoman, a Harley Quinn, a Wonder Woman, the Batgirl that we're looking at right here, a Supergirl, and Poison Ivy, all of which have really neat, sweet-looking cars. This one here is the 1957 Chevy Corvette done in this very dark exquisite purple now there are all these little intricate details we'll look at first and foremost but i want to tell you that there are things that open and close on these primarily you can open up the doors both the passenger side and the driver's side i don't know if you can see the interior there it has a steering wheel you of course you've got your brake and gas pedal the interior mirror and you've got your speedometer, all the stuff you would expect to find in a larger vehicle, just in a much smaller, a smaller die cast car. Now this also opens and closes. You do need a bit of a longer fingernail to get in there. There's the very shiny motor. And on the other end of it, the trunk also opens up. This one's a little bit harder to get your finger in there. Sometimes at times, there we go. I was going to say you could use like a little flat headed screwdriver you just got to be careful you don't want to damage the surface here and there's adequate trunk space not that there's really anything that comes included to fit inside the trunk but it's nice that they include that nonetheless small little things details are never overlooked by jada toys so for example the chevrolet uh, logo there is presently on the back of the trunk of course you got your tail lights and you got your headlights and the same chevy logo is featured on the front there um, again, I love the coloring. It, it would be hard to kind of pinpoint the color because depending on the way the light hits it, at times it actually kind of looks like it's a little bit more pink. But then when you look at it straight on, you can see it's more a dark, dark purple. I love the purple that they've used for this. Complementing that, I feel, is this copper roof and equally so the copper Batgirl logo that's featured on the front. It's a nice detailing there on the side where you've got the Bombshells logo of Batgirl, a little uh, picture of, there of her. I don't know if she would actually be driving around in a vehicle that would have her own logo on it. I don't know. 
There's the back roll down below. The rims are done also exquisitely in the same copper color that's featured on the side. I absolutely love the rims. The tires, by the way, in case you are wondering, do feel like they're plastic. They're not rubber tires. There's the underside of the vehicle. And there's the Jada Toys brand right there. Uh, the vehicle rolls very well. One thing that's neat about this, let me just put these here for a second. Reaching off, reaching off, here is the inside of the packaging. Now you're asking yourself, why would you be bringing the interior of the packaging? One thing I want to show you is the way that they've done the packaging, you can actually display the car as almost as if it was a showroom car. It would require just a little bit of taping on the side, just by the way I've taken it out of the packaging. But it is neat. It's a nice way to also showcase the car if you want to have them out on display. I mean, the, taking nothing away from the vehicles themselves. The cars are absolutely gorgeous, but it's neat that they also include, in theory, something that you could take out and display with it as well. Uh, like I said, they have slated, as far as I know, there's six vehicles. And of course, with six vehicles, you get your six corresponding bombshells, all of which look really, really neat. And hopefully something I'll be able to showcase all of them for you on this channel. Um, again, the, but the benefit of, and this is not something new to Jada Toys, is that you're getting yourself a vehicle and you're getting yourself a little corresponding die cast miniature of the character that in theory would be riding the, the sweet, sweet car here. Yes, a sweet, sweet ride indeed. This isn't the first time that Jada Toys has released die-cast cars, including with their little miniatures. They've also done that with the Batmobiles. You'll probably remember that I covered a whole bunch of them on this channel before. Now that they've entered into the realm of the DC Comics bombshells, speaking as a bombshells fan myself, I'm super excited. And so far from what I've seen of all of them, the vehicles are pretty good. And you know what? Fitting for the character I think that they come included with. Uh, if you guys are interested in checking out more from Jada Toys, you can swing on over to their website at www.jadatoysinc.com. And this is actually categorized under the Hollywood Rides, if you guys want to check out the rest of them. Today's video, again, thank you to the folks over at Jada Toys for supplying this. We were having a look today at the DC Comics bombshells. This was a really neat looking Batgirl and the 1957 Chevy Corvette. If you guys want to go back and have a look at some of my other Jada Toys reviews, there's a whole playlist just for you. And hopefully, I'll be able to have a look at the rest of these, and uh, so stay tuned for those. If you guys haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below, what exactly are you waiting for? Certainly, there's going to be a whole more, whole ton more videos coming your way, so stay tuned for that. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.